Would you like it, Paige? Those who eat of the bread everlasting need no temporal substance to guide them. Not for feasting have I descended. Graver reasons have brought me to earth. Michael, this is a classroom, not a cafeteria. We don't bring sandwiches to Evolution 101. But I wasn't eating anything. Okay, we were uh, discussing last time we got together uh, natural selection, and I want to kind of unwrap this topic a little bit with you some more um, kind of explore some of the myths that people have about natural selection and what, what its relation to evolution is. And since there are a lot of you here in this class who are probably going to fall victims to natural selection, I think you'll probably want to listen carefully to this. Uh, natural selection is a negative process. It gets rid of that which is not well adapted. Speaking of which, uh, you, you might realize that there are people who don't believe that evolution really occurred at any point our history, and I think those are also examples of folks that will likely be selected against uh, in the next wave of extinctions that take place on our planet. So what is this natural selection? How does it work? The best way to think of it is as a filtering mechanism. You can think of it as something like a column where you perhaps throw your spaghetti after you boil it. And the material that remains on the top of the colander, the, the spaghetti, is that which survives. And the water runs through the colander into the sink and, and disappears off down the drain, down the sewer somewhere. And that's what, what is removed from uh, the entire process of life, hence removed from the evolutionary process. Okay? So it really doesn't act on questions of whether an animal or an organism is good or bad or advanced or primitive. It's simply that. Get the fuck out of my feet, bitch. There are no assigned seats in this class. It's first come, first serve. It's better to ring than serve. But speaking of first come, first serve, if you don't get your fat ass out of that chair, first I'm going to come into it. Then I'm going to serve it to my door. How do you like them apples? Organisms wipe out an entire ecosystem. These are the way extinctions occur. Not, it's, not, it's not a matter of um, whether the organism happens to be more primitive or more advanced. It simply matters what simply what results in, in the selective process is how well fitted the organism is to its particular environmental circumstance at any given time. I bet you can't put an egg in your mouth without breaking it. That's ridiculous. Of course I can stick an egg in my mouth without breaking it. I bet you can't put this egg in your mouth without breaking it. Michael, this is the second time I've had to speak to you about the fact that this is Evolution 101, not a cafeteria. Can you see you Sure. <laughs> okay, does anybody have any questions? What came first, the chicken or the egg? <sighs> the question is completely irrelevant. Haven't you learned anything from what I've been talking about here? 
Um, my priest said that God created all things, so the chicken must have come first to lay the egg. Yeah, and my pastor said that evolution is a lie, that man did not descend from apes. Okay, first of all, you're right in the sense that, that we didn't descend from apes because we are in fact apes. Anyone in science knows that. Uh, my question to your pastor, pastor would be, where has he actually studied evolution? Where in his seminary training has he actually learned about science? Uh, is he a practicing scientist? What gives him the right to make comments about scientific practice and the nature of reality? After all, science deals directly with reality, whereas uh, what religious folks generally tend to deal with is something that I uh, personally wouldn't want to define. Well, evolution can't be true. We all came from Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve, so you're right. All the products of incest, right? Okay, how many of you have been indoctrinated in the propaganda of spontaneous genetic propagation? <sighs> okay, who in this classroom is a Christian? Michael here is agnostic. If you want to battle here, we'll battle right now. Fuck you, fucker. All right, come on. What's your name? You can call me Lou for short. Well, Lou, I like the way you handled that situation. Just using the brains that God gave me. OK. Uh, I want somebody to draw a woman on the blackboard complete with reproductive organs, everything related to the birth cycle. And uh, Michael, since you seem to be so interested in food, why don't you come on up here and take care of that for us? Michael, please escort yourself to the principal's office in the principality. This class is so hard. I don't think I'm going to be able to pass this test. I know a trick. This is something that he will not be able to refuse. Apple begins with A. Well, someone's going to get an A. Why, of course. Ha! Huh? See, there is a God. Satan is the best friend the church has ever had. He's kept him in business all these years. Oh my God! I've come too late. Hey, look, girls. There's the Archangel Michael. Uh, I'm gonna need three autographs. Three? Okay. Three. Yeah, whatever. 